another quick video to show you the difference between traditional uh, pot gardening and net cups or net pot uh, gardening so these two mint plants these are mint plants and i've made a similar video for spinach in past but i'm just repeating the experiment for the uh, main plant and both these mint plants were divided uh, from one plant into two and one plant was put into this uh, pot here regular plastic pot and this is a neck cup or neck pot as uh, it is known as it has holes uh, around the walls and in the bottom as well so as you can see uh, this one although the new leaves are growing and it is healthy and happy this one has really performed well the leaves are much bigger and the branches are much bigger uh, and uh, there's a humongous difference so i certainly recommend using these net cups uh, this is just the uh, regular potting mix if you can see uh, just the plant is growing in a net cup as compared to a regular uh, pot now i see a fundamental problem with the design of these pots anyway uh, if you can see the pots are conical in shape and the and the cone is going down towards the bottom when roots grow they they like to grow diagonally in all directions and the problem with these pots is that when you when the plants start growing bigger the roots have no space uh, so they have to curl around which is probably no good for the plants in this one although the design is same However, uh, the roots, rather than curling around uh, the walls of the cup, they actually come out and they go through a phenomena which is known as root pr air root pruning. So they come out, they touch the air and they, they get burnt out, which uh, forces uh, plants to grow new roots. And as a result, uh, they have to build new leaves and the plants are healthier. Before I go, uh, you'll notice that uh, both these pots are uh, in this tray. And the benefit of this tray is uh, that I don't have to water them as uh, frequently as you would in a uh, pot. So I just put some water uh, into these uh, pots and I wait till the water is up to this level. And that way I don't have to water it for at least a week. So these plants are being fed on liquid fertilizer, uh, homemade liquid fertilizer, which is just warm tea. And as you can see, this is a really good idea. Thank you very much.